Hi guys, Jason here at Northern Soul Sportswear. So uh, back with another vintage vault video for you. And today we're gonna to talk about uh, the early box lacrosse plastic sticks. So we've got here the Brian PL60 and the STX uh, International Box Head. I'm not sure if it's got a, another name, but uh, let's refer to it as the STX International. So I'm gonna show you the, uh, the STX International spec stick first. Now, this would have been a pretty hard sell to a Canadian at the time. Um, obviously, wooden sticks. Trying to sell a Canadian a plastic stick, I'm pretty sure the run of these would have been very, very short-lived. Um, whether it was the STX stick or the PL60. Um, would have been referred to as Tupperware. So this SDX stick is in excellent condition. Very few scoopies on it here. And uh, actually still has its original SDX sticker on there. And if I have a good poke around under here, it's got a, it's hard for you to see on there, but it's a 222. Now, according to various other collectors, um, this refers to being manufactured in the 22nd week of 1972. Um, now, if you know any more about this stick, then please let me know. You can feel free to like and comment below. And, uh, and make sure you're subscribing to this channel. If you're not already subscribing, what's wrong with you? Get subscribing. But the, the, the stamp on here is, is kind of a giveaway to when these sticks were made. Um, I was led to believe previously it was kind of they were pulled kind of 73, came out maybe 74, but this one might be a really early one. Um, but 222 is what's stamped on this one. Um, now, the reason I think this is in such great shape is because some guy went to play box and rocked up with a plastic stick, and all his buddies were playing with the old woodies and were saying, what the heck's that? That's going to last you like five seconds. Now, if you watch a lot of box, you know, you'll see that, you know, majority of players, you know, don't really change hands. And back then, you know, the stick's designed to be used, you know, in, in, a, in a certain way. So this is a right-handed woody. If you see a left-handed one, you'll see the wood is actually on that side and the gut is on this side. So with the plastic sticks, you know, it's, it's you know, it's well balanced. You know, you can switch hands and it'll feel exactly the same. Um, I did actually watch a video the other day, an old video on YouTube, and it was the US um, team playing against Canada indoor, and all the Canadians were obviously using wood, and all the Americans were using plastic. It was a later video than this date, because they were using SDX high walls in the video. Um, I'll try and dig that video out sometimes, and maybe, maybe see if I can throw it up on YouTube. Uh, interestingly enough, one of the guys had a double ball stop in here, so something I did back in like, 1990, you know, 91. But you see some players put a double ball stop in because then the ball would just sit behind the ball stop. Uh, never really got called up at the time by referees. So when people started noticing that, I guess, you know, you, you couldn't do it anymore. But um, it's in great shape, this. And again, if, if you saw the, the vintage SDX video I did, uh, you might remember that the early sticks had no screwing and were attached with like a compression pin. So again... This has got that same compression pin, so really, really early plastic stick if you don't see the screws. But um, it's in great shape, you know, it's, it's fairly stiff. Wooden handle, you know, standard, didn't have alloy handles at that point. But like I said, it would have been a, a difficult sell to a player of this. And I think whoever bought this stick, you know, he went down to play box, either didn't like it and went back to use his woody, or all his friends just said, look, you know, what the heck are you using, buddy? And uh, this would have sat in his garage, I guess, um, or as we say, garage in, uh, in, in the UK. Garage for all our American viewers and uh, Canadians. But uh, this would have sat, you know, just in a corner and he'd gone back to his wooden stick. So pretty short lived, I would have thought but in great shape and uh, very sought after. You do not see many of these kicking around. A, because of the age of them. B, because those people who were playing box, I'm pretty sure this would have lasted uh, hardly any time 
getting checked with a big old piece of hickory, so it wouldn't have lasted too long, I'd have thought. But, yes, it's international. So again, very rare piece of plastic and very sought after for those of us who uh, collect plastic sticks. So this is the Brine PL60. And again, I've mentioned in the past that, you know, factory pockets of the time, you know, there's, that is about it. When you consider how shallow these uh, side walls are compared to modern plastic sticks, I mean, that's probably what, probably about an inch and a half, maybe not even that but uh, quite a shallow plastic head, you know, and it's just got a frying pan pocket. I digress. Anyway, let's talk about the head. So, uh, again, it's never been used. Um, I think when I first got this, it still had the... So it's got its plastic hang tag for the little cardboard bit, which is around here somewhere. It'll be somewhere safe, so I've probably buried it in somewhere safe, uh, and we'll find it again in a couple of years' time. It's probably in that safe place that you put all the other safe places that you can't remember. But um, never been used. I don't even think this one's seen a ball. There's, there's no scoopies on it at all. And um, very similar in appearance, isn't it? To the, uh, the SCX one. You know, could be the same stick, couldn't it? Throat's a little different, but if I cover over that throat, you know, other than the ball stop and the stringing looks a little different. Could be the same stick, couldn't it? Scoop's a little different. So obviously the SDX one, if you have a good little there, there's nothing there to protect those leathers from getting shredded playing on the, uh, the surface. That's where the brine one actually has this little recess here. So it does actually protect the leathers. So I'm guessing if I was to pick one of these two plastic sticks, I might go for this one. It does seem to be a little lighter head-wise. Um, it's got a very nice looking handle. Brian, world's finest lacrosse stick. Um, also, they said at the time, obviously these days Brian is, is a women's brand and Brian aren't producing any men's equipment. But um, yeah, the PL16, it's obviously got its pattern number on the side here, which again, for heads of this age, is quite common to see the pattern number somewhere on heads. But nice, nice and crisp there, you can see, you know, just the Great condition of this head. Now, this one's obviously got a screw on the back. The SCX ones, as I pointed out before, on the side with the screw, or on that international, it was obviously the compression pin. Now, I think this was around 74. Uh, and again, very short-lived. If it did, if it was manufactured earlier than 74, and you can kind of confirm that, then please let us know. I'd, I'd like to know as much information about these old sticks as possible. Um, yeah, we're, we're talking like, 50 years ago. So if, if you were using a PL60 for a short period playing box, then uh, let us know. Um, again, round throat, top of the handle is octagonal, but it's, it's kind of rounded off. Typical of all the sticks at the time, the plastic sticks. And um, this one's, there's one leather, it's just, these old leathers, they get kind of very brittle after a long time. So there's a little split in this leather here and it's just, snapped off there as well but uh because it's got the original pocket and it's, it was never used i'm not i'm not going to restring this there's, there's some sticks i would keep in the original state and there are some that i, I do like to restring but this is going to get kept as is so pl60 and the uh stx international as i said before that these wouldn't have been on the market for long i think these would have ripped a lot of Box players would have turned their nose up at these things. And uh, if you are a, an older dude out there that um, used to play box lacrosse and was one of the first to use plastic sticks, then let me know what you thought about them, how, how teammates reacted to them. Um, just let us know what you thought.